Well, now it's my joy to introduce Amy to you. She's going to share you with you her story. Good morning. I was born into a Christian family made up of two wonderful parents who raised me in the word with prayer and with the knowledge that serving in the church was important. I'm so grateful for that. I believe due to growing up in that environment, I accepted Christ at a young age. I can't tell you exactly when, but I know I did. I remember praying that I believe Jesus is my savior and asking him to enter my heart. As a child, I had somewhat of a blind faith, and not in a bad way. I knew and still know that God is, was, and always will be great, and that he sent his only son to die on the cross because he loves me, even though I am a sinner. And due to believing in that, my relationship with God was good as a child. I would pray without ceasing, and I loved worship. But as I got older, my relationship with God changed. I grew distant from him not in a way that I stopped believing in him or I doubted him, but in the sense that my relationship with him got weaker. For what exact reason, I really can't say. There was a time in my life when I was really lonely. I wish during that time I would have gotten closer to God, but sadly, I didn't take that opportunity, even though I knew that having a personal and close relationship with God was very important for every aspect of my life. Such as, friends and, such as my relationship with friends and family, school, my future, and so much more. But every time I would try to have quiet time, I'd open the Bible, start reading, and I wouldn't hear God's voice. And that was so discouraging. Anyway, fast forward a bit, and it's March 2017, and I'm at snow camp with the rest of the CCBC youth. It was, Saturday, it was in the Saturday evening session, the third session, that really got to me. The pastor was talking about how we are adopted, we are accepted, and the point that really hit home, we are redeemed. I am redeemed. God had to pay for what was already his. He had to send his only son to get me, his own creation, back. And he did it without any hesitation or regret because I am his most prized possession. How amazing. Now, this wasn't something new to me, but you know when you hear something and your heart is open and the setting is just right and something you've already known just comes at you um, in a whole other way, almost like you've been hit with a truck, but instead you were hit with the pure awesomeness of what God did for you? That's what happened to me that night. So when the pastor asked if you would like to give your heart to God, I said yes, and I prayed and raised my hand and I rededicated my life to God. A verse that reminds me of how God will do anything to get me back and keep me because of his never-failing, everlasting love is Romans 8, verses 38 to 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. Since that night at snow camp, I've been working on my relationship with God. I'm still not where I want to be in my relationship with God, and I don't think I ever will be because relationships constantly grow and become stronger, even when you think they're as strong as can be. Um, but I'm working on it, and I don't plan on stopping. Today, I'm taking my next step in my relationship with God. I'm getting baptized. I want to get baptized because I want to obey God's command as set out in the Bible as a believer. Amy, amazing to hear your story, and because of your profession of faith and Jesus as your only Lord and Savior, it is now my joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 